Good day, folks, and welcome to the IT Way. My name is Joan, and today we're going to talk about how to configure the threat protection in the Cisco Meraki Security Appliances MX on the Meraki dashboard. Basically, in this section, we have three main parts. The first part is going to talk about the Cisco AMP, is the AMP Advanced Malware Protection. It's going to come and inspect all the HTTPS or HTTP files that are going to download. It's going to go through the Cisco Meraki appliance and it's going to inspect all that based on the Cisco AMP signatures that we know. The second section is going to be the IDS on IPS. That is going to inspect all the flows and the packets going through the inter VLAN, everything that is passing through the security appliance and it's going to check it against of the snort list that we have of signatures. And the lastly is going to be the DNS for Umbrella. If you have Umbrella integration, you're going to see the exception over there. So we're going to go through these three different modules and we're going to see how we can configure it. So let's go to the dashboard. First, we have to go to security and SD1, threat protection. Here we have the three sections. The first one is the Advanced Malware Protection, or AMP, the Intrusion Detection and Prevention, and the Umbrella Protection. First one, let's go to the AMP. Here, this AMP is synced with the Cisco AMP Cloud, and it's gonna bring all the URLs that we need to block all the traffic. So here is gonna work basically with HTTP files that are being downloaded to our clients underneath this MX, and it's gonna be inspect. Everything that is malicious is going to be blocked. That's why we have just two options to whitelist any malicious or any potential false positive for us. If we know that there is a URL that has that signature of that HTTP file that we want to allow in the traffic, we can add it here. So let's say is box.com and we know that ITWay is the file where we want to download. If you like, you can put the whole URL or you can put the asterisk to like the wild mask. That way, all everything that is being downloaded from this URL is gonna be allowed. The same thing is the whitelist of the files. If in the past there was one file that you downloaded and it was blocked by AMP, it's gonna show here in the drop down all the files in the previous diaries have been blocked. If you know that you wanna allow this file, you just have to find it and put it here and allow that file. We can put here as a comment, allow box. And that's how you configure in the AMP in this section. The other section is going to be intrusion detection and prevention. Here we can enable it, and we have two different options. First, with detection, it means that it's all the traffic that is going to be analyzed against the SNOT rules. If we detect that one could be malicious, we're not going to block it. We're just going to detect it, and it's going to show you the logs here. The other option is prevention. It means that it's gonna lock it, it's gonna detect it, and it's gonna prevent it, it's gonna block it. With that, if you select prevention, you have these options. With detection, you have the options as well of connectivity, balance, and security. Here, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna give you the documentation in the link below, for you can see the three different parts between the three different options that we have here, the connectivity, the balance, and the security. After that, if you have one rule that it was denied in the previous interactions, you will see it here as a drop down, and you can see that this one was denied before. If I want, I want to allow it in the future, we just have to select it and save the changes. The last part is this section, the umbrella protection. This is only when you have the umbrella linked with your MX. So he, you, here you can see the options of the policies that you have as a default in the umbrella portal and you can select it to put as a default as well from the Cisco Meraki side. After doing all these changes, we can save it. And after it's saved, all this configuration is gonna be the default for all our devices and all the VLANs under the MX. And that's how you configure the threat protection section in the Cisco Meraki MXs in the Cisco Meraki dashboard. Something that is very important to have is one of the requirements to have these features is to have the license for the advanced security for the MXs. 
So we covered that in the previous video with the content filtering, but basically what it is, is that the Max is gonna have two different kinds of licenses. If you have the enterprise, it means that you are able to configure and see the MX on the dashboard. But if you have the security appliance, you can have additional features like content filtering or one of these, there is threat protection. And that's how you configure threat protection in the Meraki way. See you in the next one.